This video and all content on this channel is performed by a pest control professional, and it is always recommended to hire a pest control pro in your area to perform any pest control in or outside your home. Pesticides can harm you and your loved ones. Anyone who is performing the information in this video is doing so at their own risk. If you decide to try the info provided in this video, please always check with the local laws in your area and read the labels of any product you use. The label is the law. Hey everybody, this is Jason Akers with Green Acres Pest Control, and today I want to talk about how to kill spiders. Now, this is a video that has been long coming. I have a lot of people ask me questions about spider control. You typically customers who have issues with their children, maybe black widows, brown recluse, different types of poisonous spiders we have in Virginia. And so it is a, a concern for a lot of people on how to eliminate spiders and try to keep them you know, keep them gone so you don't have a continual problem with spiders. Um, every time I make a video like this, I usually get a lot of uh, hate, a lot of, uh, usually the only places I talk about it are on my live streams, which by the way, if you do like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you really like it, consider subscribing to my channel. I do live screen streams every uh, Thursday night, uh, usually after I put the kids to bed. And so um, unless something comes up like a vacation or something, I'm usually always on every Thursday night uh, after nine o'clock. So uh, consider subscribing to my channel if you'd like to come on and ask me anything live at any time. I always try to uh, answer your questions, uh, any questions that you might have. Also, if you do have any questions, uh, consider asking me here on this video right here down in the comments below. I watch every, I look at every comment, I read every single comment, negative, positive, in between, whatever. I always read all my comments. So if you're, um, if you want to, you leave one below, and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. Um, Spiders are something that uh, do concern a lot of people. They can uh, make you pretty sick if they bite you, uh, even if they're not poisonous. Uh, every spider has a, some type of a venom or a poison uh, in their bite. And so even if they're not considered poisonous spiders, like a black, black widow or a brown recluse, um, they can still cause uh, severe reactions and sometimes even death. It just depends. Just like with a bee sting, uh, some people are allergic to bees, some people are not. And so uh, if you're allergic to a spider, they can uh, cause uh, serious injury and maybe even death. So we're going to go over spiders in this video. I know that I usually get a lot of hate when I do these videos or talk about this, like I said on my live streams, but uh, the truth is, is yes, spiders do kill bugs, but spiders aren't necessarily the, uh, the only thing that kills bugs. You know, if you're treating your house for spiders, more than likely you're actually killing the bugs that the spiders would eat anyway. So it's not going to harm uh, your home. And boy, my phone is just going off like crazy right now. Let me put that on mute real quick. There we go. So anyway, let's talk about uh, what you can do to eliminate spiders in your home. So step one, you want to pull down all the spider webs first. So you go around your house with a Webster or some type of a long duster type object that can pull down all the spider webs around the house. The reason you want to do this is because spiders lay eggs and the eggs are typically impervious to pesticides. So you want to make sure you treat the area all the way around the house. You want to make sure before you treat the area that you pull down all the webs because spiders lay eggs in webs and the chemical is not going to kill the eggs. So you pull down the eggs and you kill the eggs yourself. So this will help a lot. Actually, if you're performing pest control for someone uh, and you're a pest control technician like me, this is a step you really should practice. I've noticed homes that I pull webs down before I treat and uh, they just don't get spiders at all anymore. It makes a really big difference if you pull down all the spider webs and crush all those little egg sacs. That's the number one step. First thing you want to do, you also want to trim all the bushes from around the house. So, uh, the boxwoods, holly bushes, um, you know, any kind of dense shrubbery or even, uh, you know, decorative grasses and stuff like that, you want to try to pull them away from the house. If you have to transplant them, then do that. But you need at least one to two feet of clearance between the house and the shrubbery around the outside of the house. And the reason this is, is because it allows for airflow around the house. It stops the buildup of moisture around the house, which attracts bugs. It attracts things, not just uh, spiders, but it will attract things like 
cockroaches, it'll attract centipedes, millipedes, crickets, uh, you know, lots of different bugs and stuff will come to the house because you've got shrubbery up next to the house. So try to pull this stuff away. Uh, keep your mulch beds away from the house as far as wood mulch. If you're going to need to mulch around the house, use something like a rubber mulch or a stone or a brick or something like that. Don't use mulch because mulch also attracts bugs. So you want to try to pull that stuff away from the house if you can and keep it away from your foundation because this will help you ultimately with your pest control needs and keeping the bugs down from around your house. And like I said, if you're watching this video, you don't like bugs around your house. So I'm going to give you really good advice to try to keep that from uh, bothering you. So uh, on the inside of your house, like because I said, this is you typically an inside and an outside treatment. Now with spiders, you don't always have to do an inside treatment. It just depends on the type of spiders that you've got. If you're really only concerned with the spiders that build webs and stuff up around the edges and the eaves, and like this right here, like this deck rail. So a lot of times the spiders will be up and down these little parts of the deck rail and along here. Um, you can take those spider webs down, brush those spider webs down, and crush those egg sacs. And a lot of times that's all you really need to do as far as your exterior uh, pest control and, of course, treatment with, with an uh, with insecticide. But, um, and you don't even need to do inside. But if you're having problems with hunting spiders, things that actually, spiders actually hunt for food, you need to pull your uh, furniture away from the walls, namely like couches, uh, big bulky pieces of furniture, not necessarily entertainment centers and stuff like that, but it is a good idea to pull a couch away from the wall, maybe three or four inches, so you can get behind the couch to that baseboard area. Spiders do like to hide behind the couch, especially jumping spiders and hunting spiders. Brown recluse spider, this is a place that they like to hide. And so if you're concerned about brown recluse, you want to pull your big bulky furniture away from the wall. Um, you want to pull your uh, toys, if your kids have toys and stuff, pick up all the toys, put them away, and uh, before you treat anything, uh, mattresses, if, you're, if your children lay in a mattress like up next to the wall, like maybe it's pushed up against a baseboard or something, uh, you want to pull the bed and the mattress away from the wall. Give yourself plenty of clearance between the mattress and the baseboard, and don't put anything back up against the wall until your treatment is dry, because you want to allow for the chemical to dry. You don't want to pull it away from the surfaces that you're going to treat, because we're going to go over treatment in step two, and so you don't want to accidentally you know, pull that, that damp pesticide away from your baseboard and maybe soak it into your mattress in places that you don't really want it to be like on your toys and stuff like that so you want to allow for the pesticide to dry before re-entry you actually want to clear everybody out of the house and treat the house mainly this is because of and the chemicals i'm going to i'm actually going to recommend are actually very safe to use around children and pets uh that's a, another question i get a lot of my videos is is this going to harm my pet is this going to harm my dog or my cat or my baby or whatever as long as you follow the label and you do what the label says always read your labels um typically you're not going to you know hurt anybody nobody's going to have any kind of harmful effects from uh the pesticide application so let's go on to step two let's talk about what we're going to do and how we're going to actually kill these spiders so the treatment uh, we're going to start with outside because that's the way we started before. So after you've pulled down all your webs and everything, you've cleared up all your bushes and all around the house, you're going to want to treat with Demon Max. So Demon Max, and, and actually let's let's get to the granular insecticide first because a lot, a lot of times I like to do that first anyway. So we use Bifenthrin granules or Bifen granules for short. There are other brands. I'm going to link everything below so you can read about those things and, and see those different things. I actually have an Amazon page. So my Amazon page has lots of links for all kinds of different bugs, not just spiders, but bed bugs, cockroaches, silverfish, all kinds of different bugs from springtails to mice to rats and all kinds of different things. And so if you go to that page, I keep it updated always. I, I always constantly update it with new material as it becomes available, uh, new pesticides that may be on the market that work better than the old ones that maybe you've seen in older video and I've updated uh, my product list. So make sure you go there and look there first. But um, the, the product that we use around the exterior of the house, we use bifenthrin granules and we put it in a hand spreader and we spread it around the foundation of the home and even out into the yard a little bit, maybe three or four feet out into the yard, just to make sure that we cover that area so that when the bugs crawl across it, they die. And you need to activate these granules with, uh, with the water. You can, use the, um, you can use a water hose, just a regular, like a little spray water hose. Um, and then after, after you've done all of that, 
You want to go around the exterior of the house. You want to treat around all your windows and all your doors. You want to treat like under your handrails on the cracks, you know, the cracks that actually form. So where that piece of wood connects to that handrail, you want to treat that crack because the spiders absolutely do live in those cracks all the time. I actually chase spiders out of there on a daily basis, all kinds of different deck rails and handrails. And, uh, you know, see these areas like this where you've got this lattice work right here. Um, the spiders will live underneath those porches. And so you want to get underneath those porches. You want to treat all these little beams and stuff that go across where the wood meets the actual deck itself, where all those cracks form. The spiders will live there. Of course, ants, roaches, lots of bugs will live there just because it's a deck and because water, rainwater falls, especially if it's not covered, you'll have problems with spiders and stuff living underneath the deck. So keep that in mind. Treat areas like that with Demon Max. So Demon Max is the pesticide that I recommend for spider control around the exterior of a home, barns, all kinds of places. It's very useful uh, pesticide around the outside in the eaves, overhangs, treat your uh, dust to dawn lights or your porch lights, you know, areas like that where the spiders like to congregate. And of course, like I said, always clean your webs down from these spots too, and then treat around all these areas. And it will absolutely knock down your spiders within just a few days the spot, you will notice a huge difference. In fact, I treat garages and stuff around the outside and stuff, and they just don't even get spiders at all anymore. And these are people that leave a garage door open 24 hours a day for the dog to come in and out of the garage. Maybe the dog sleeps in the garage and they want to be able to, you know, go in and out of the house. And so, um, in fact, this is just one customer in my mind right now that I'm thinking about that actually has a dog that goes in and out of the garage. They leave the door open all the time. And so the spiders get in really bad until I started treating and they don't get any spiders at all anymore. The spiders used to be up around the light. You know how the automatic light when you open your garage door, they're all up around that. They were all up around the, uh, just, just all up around the edges of the garage near the ceiling. And so let's go into treating the in interior of the house since we're talking about the inside of the garage. So you want to treat inside your house, the baseboards around inside the house. So like I said, you've pulled everything away from the wall. You want to treat around all your baseboards, all your windows, and all your doors. Crack and crevice only. This is not a broadcast spray. Just because the spider was under the couch doesn't mean it's sitting out in the carpet. They typically sit right up next to the baseboard. And so if you treat the baseboard for these types of spiders, you will eliminate these spiders that lay up against the baseboard because this is where they hunt for food. They crawl along the edge of the wall because this is where spy, uh, ants, roaches, centipedes, millipedes, uh, most of every bug actually hangs out in the cracks around your baseboards. So if you treat underneath these areas like your uh, piece of shoe molding and down behind the baseboard itself, you're going to eliminate those bugs that those spiders are going to come in to eat. And you'll also eliminate the spiders as they hunt for food. So this is what I recommend uh, treating around all your baseboards. And what we're going to use is Alpine WSG. That's the pesticide I use for general pest control inside the house. It's a really good pesticide, very versatile, takes care of things like ants, crickets, roaches, silverfish, spiders, lots of different bugs are on the label for Alpine WSG. And so I use it for general pest control all the time. Homes I use it in, they don't just ever get bugs anymore. It is a little more expensive than a lot of your other pesticides, but like I said, I build my business around satisfaction and I just don't want my customers to have problems and I'm willing to spend a little bit more extra money on product and then not have the callbacks and I just don't get callbacks hardly ever so uh, it's a really good chemical it's actually really good for other things like fleas and stuff too but we'll talk about that in another video in fact I'll link that video uh, right here right here one of these little corners it'll come up right now that you can go watch that video if you're interested in trying to kill fleas and so uh, those are the places that I recommend treating around all the doors all the windows, uh, places like that around your bushes and stuff uh, on the outside. Don't forget underneath your bushes where the spiders might actually hang out. Uh, be sure to treat underneath those areas, all the shady spots where the ticks and the fleas and stuff will hang out because the spiders will hang out there and they'll eat the ticks and the fleas. Um, if you're having problems with things like ladybugs, cluster flies, uh, stink bugs and stuff coming in the house, all those places, those bugs tend to congregate. You want to make sure you treat all around those extra little areas. And so uh, let's move on to step three. We're going to talk about how uh, to, to keep the spiders away from your house. So this is what I do on a regular basis. So all I ever do after I do a, a spider control uh, job, I always recommend monthly pest control. And the reason this is, is because spiders are constantly always trying to get into the house. Just like bugs always try to get into the house, spiders always try to get into the house. I've noticed that customers that go less often than monthly, we're talking like bi-monthly or quarterly customers, 
always have problems with spiders. It's one of their t number one complaints, but the customers that I do on a regular monthly basis, they never ever complain about spider problems because you're killing them before they can reproduce. So that's really important with spider control and actually lots of other insects. It's very important to treat on a regular basis so that you can eliminate those eggs that are going to hatch and you're going to have babies. So this is especially true with spiders, cockroaches, ants, different bugs that are really just determined to try to get into your house. If you treat on a regular basis, you're just not going to have bugs and spiders are considered bugs. So, <laughs> but anyway, you want to make sure that you're constantly pulling down any webs. If you have any webs, spider webs, or anything like that that show up on the house, be sure to pull those spider webs down and treat those areas because those are the areas the spiders are actually attracted to. And as long as you continue to do this on a regular basis, like I said, month to month to month, every month. So the way that I keep track of my customers is I service people's house based on a day of the week. So uh, for example, I just serviced a man's house today and I lined him up to be done on the first Wednesday of the month. So every first Wednesday when it ticks over, I know, oh, it's time to do so-and-so's house. That's the day I'm going to do that route. I'm going to go through, I'm going to do his house. Put yourself on a route. Put yourself on a regular scheduled basis. So if you do your house, maybe the only time you have to do your house is on the weekend. Maybe you work during the week. And so you want to be able to do like the first Sunday of the month. You want to make sure you do a really good pest control job all the way around your house. That's the day you want to put it. Put it on your calendar. Mark it on your calendar. Don't forget, those are the days that you want to make sure you treat your house for bugs. And that's going to do the best for you. You're not going to have problems with spiders. You're not going to have problems with ants. You're not going to have problems with lots of bugs. But this actually, and I'll link another video here real quick on general pest control. I actually went over a lot of these things kind of generically over, uh, or generally I should say, on my uh, general pest control video. And it goes over a little more broad on like roaches and different things that try to get into the house. So check out that video too. And like I said, that'll be here or here. Just depends on the way that the camera gets flipped whenever I edit this. So hopefully this will be a beneficial video. It will help you a lot. If you really like the video, consider subscribing to my channel. Like I said, I do live streams every Thursday night. You can always catch me on those. And uh, you guys have a really great day. I really appreciate it. Enjoy 2021. I hope you all guys have a great new year, that you had a good Christmas, Hanukkah, you know, whatever, Kwanzaa, whatever you guys celebrate. I hope you're having a really good time wherever you are. And uh, I hope to make a really good 2021 with lots of good videos for you guys, and I hope this is a good way to kick off the year. Uh, also, check out the new video I made on how to mix chemicals properly. I do have a, pe a pesticide chemical video that I just put up about Alpine WSG and Crossfire, and so hopefully this will help you guys a lot. I've got lots of plans, lots of new videos, lots of new content coming in 2021. You guys have a really great day. I really appreciate it, and thanks a lot. Bye.